Shalom, Shalom, call Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS, the real well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. It's coming with a scriptural lesson. We're going to read 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, verse 14 through 17. Uh, I was looking over it, man. I kind of got from that that uh, the elect are basically that sweet savor that's rising to the heavens, man. And you have Israelites, basically the people who are believing in these Israelites who are not pushing the 100% truth, you are going to perish, man. Okay. Let me, let me go right into it. Second Corinthians two and 14. It said, now thanks be unto the Most High Yahweh, which always causes us to triumph in Amasiach and make manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Okay. So it says, now thanks unto the Most High Yahweh, which always causes us to triumph in Amasiach. Okay. When you go into the word triumph, it means uh, to have victory. And when you read in the scriptures, we're trying to obtain that victory of, of uh, that victory over death, which which the elect will receive when you read in First Corinthians the fifteenth chapter at the end. Okay, and that day when uh, our bodies are going to be changed from incorrupt from corruptible to incorruptible. Okay, that's that triumph that we look for. But you got to think through many captivities. We have always our people have uh, disobeyed Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you have made us captive. He has made us captives, man. Okay. But now he's leading. He's he's continuing to lead us along in this new uh, beautiful procession that we're going to. You know, we're being we're uh, this is like a wedding procession where you where you're getting ready to be married until your bride. You know. Things when you when you. When, when a bride is getting married, things are hectic, you know, but in the same time, it's a joyous time. A lot, a lot of uh, 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 anxiety goes on that time, trying to make sure things are right. And this is the same thing that we basically are going through. We're trying to get that victory and obtain um, the crowns. Let me get that in. Let me get that in. Uh. This is what we're going for. The second Ezra's two and I think forty four, maybe. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these question? He answered and said unto me. These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immoral, clo immoral, immoral, immortal, and have confessed the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now they are crowned and receive palms. Palms goes into the victory. They have, they have, they have received those palms. They have, have triumphed over death, man. And this is the elect. And it says they have confessed that name. And while they've been here, they confess that name and also they push the 100 percent truth. They haven't tried to mislead and distort the doctrine but they mislead people. OK. This is what we're trying to obtain. All right. Back in St. Corinthians 2 and 14. Now, thanks be unto the Most High Yahweh, which always causes us to triumph in Amasiach and make it manifest the savor of his knowledge, right? The sweetness of his knowledge by us in every place. Okay. So he's, he's using us to spread this knowledge everywhere. Like, like, uh, basically like sp spraying a good cologne of fragrance, you know, it's a savor that goes out over it. when you spread in the air, it spreads out. And not only is it smelled by you, it's smelled by other people who, who are likened to that fragrance, man. Which is like the elect, man. When this knowledge spread, the elect are gonna hear it. Okay. 
And it says, verse 15, for we are unto the Most High Yahweh, a sweet savor of Amasiach in them that are saved and in them that perish, man. So we're that sweet savor that's rising into the heavens, man. You know, the savor, is, is it smells different to the ones who are being saved than the ones that are going to die in this truth. To the ones that are going to die, basically, it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a horrible smell. You don't want to smell it. That's why people don't want to hear the truth. It's not a good smelling savor to them that are part of the two thirds. Okay. Verse 16. It says to the one, we are a savior of death. See, we'll smell it. We'll stench of death to the two thirds, man. Okay. And it says. And to the other, the savor of life unto life. So to the elect, we're that beautiful, we're the beautiful, uh, savor smell of frankincense and mirth, man, and sandalwoods and, and palo santo to the, to, to the, to the, to the elect, we're that sweet savor, man. This truth is like that, that smells of, of frankincense and mirth, man. But to, to the, to the says to the ones that it's a savor of death and to death, hey, it's a stench to them. They don't want to hear this word, okay? Because it's condemning them, okay? So the elect is the only one going to be adequate for this, for this man, okay? It says, and who is sufficient for these things, the elect? It says, verse 17, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of Yahweh. See, so we preaching in sin sincerity and truth. You have some people that are distorting and mangling the scriptures and going off their own counsel. Right. And basically destroying the people, man. OK. It says, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of the most high, but as of sincerity, but as of the most high in the sight of, of the most high. Speak we in a masia. You know, so. We're preaching in sincerity. You have some that preach in what? Profit to make profit or to preach for attention or a personal fame. Okay. You know, we preach in that fear. You know, because Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is watching. So we're going to preach in that fear, man. Okay. Let me go. Same chapter. Now, let me go. Fourth chapter. Second verse of a shot I made. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully. See, we're not handling this deceitfully. Deceitfully means what? To corrupt, ensnare. Okay. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience. In the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So we're not trying to distort the word or trick anybody uh, 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 with the words of the Lord, man. You know? And if you're if you are, if you are a person of honesty and integrity, you're going to know that GMS is preaching the 100% truth, man. And then we reject those teachings of the ones who are distorting the word. Right? You're going to know that. Like we always say in the, in the world, real, real going to recognize real, man. Okay. 17. For we are not as many which corrupt the word. And you got Israelite groups out there that are corrupting the word. I could say, hey, man, GMS pushing that 100% truth. You know, not saying it to be boastful, man. But that's just what it is. And it says, the word of the Most High, but as of many, as of sincerity. Sincerity, genuine purity, okay? But as of the Most High in the sight of God, speak we in a Masiak. So, hey, man, we're going we gonna to come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and keep pushing this truth, man. Like I said, with the elect, the, the sweet savor that's rising to the heavens, that sweet savor that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Yahweh loves to smell, man. The sweet savor of the truth, man. And the elect, like I said, they are the frankincense and the mirth 
and the sandalwood of this earth, man. That sweet smell that's rising to the to the heavens. And I hope this short lesson was edifying. Hey, to and to the two thirds, you're gonna perish. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, GMS for real well. Peace and blessings to the whole collect. GMS stop and listen. Another short lesson. Hopefully it's edifying. Until next time, Shalom.